Hello, welcome to Let Me Toys. Well, looky here. I have got the ingredients for a build challenge. It's beige, everybody. The most boring color in the world. Actually, it's not. So it's in Lego, it's called tan. So this is a too much tan build. Yay! So kill me. Right, so we have got, this is my tan bucket. And we look at all these wonderful tan pieces, all in exactly the same shade of tan, tan, tan. Or beige. Boring, boring beige. I shouldn't be so mean, but I just don't know. I've put this build challenge off for a while because it's going to be definitely a challenge. It might even be worse than grey. But first, let's make some characters. So tan, right? Yes, yeah, so many clothes in tan. So Andrea has got a pair of shorts, so she's a tan too, predominantly. Moana has got a tan skirt. And there are some tan pants somewhere. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck in a, I was about to rhyme and I've stopped myself. Here we are. Here are the tan pants. Until last year. These, no, there's also a tan top, <gasps> a princess top. Hold on, that's a prince. A prince top. Oh, that's perfect. I can totally fit this into a narrative in my head. A prince. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But so, mm, until last year, that was all we had. Last year in the jungle theme, Emma got an almost completely tan outfit. Well, it's not. The top's got tan on it. The bottom's got tan on it. So I'm calling both sides of this being available for tan. Andrea also got a top and a bottom with tan on them. Yeah, whoa, some more tan clothes. I'm already tired of saying tan. Tan. Uh, okay, uh, but mm, Raya, the Raya sets brought us some good stuff. Namari has got a really great top. Uh, Raya's hat itself is tan, so we could use this headpiece as our tan. And I could put it just directly on Namari. Oh my gosh, now I'm just mixing and matching the Raya dolls. This hair looks, <gasps> Namari's hair looks great. Oh, it looks great on Raya, but I'm also going to put Moana's skirt on Namari. Oh, pants look good on, wow, okay. These are mixes and matches that I never would have thought of doing. So, Namari looks fantastic, all in tan. Have we made our character? I think we have. I have no idea, maybe like a sandy beach build kind of thing? Uh, oh, let's investigate what sort of hair pieces are available in tan. There's a lot of boys ones or male hair pieces and I don't think girls have got any. So there's all, there are all these, oh, there are a couple hats. So, mm, yeah, but there are all these boy hair pieces that are just kind of same, same, but different. They're so close to looking exactly the same. This is different. This is an elf's hair piece from Lord of the Rings. Oh, I very much like the Viking one. Oh, oh, I want to see what my Namari Raya Moana <laughs> Melotia now looks like with a Viking helmet. <gasps> She's a Valkyrie. Wee! Actually, that looks really fierce. I really like that. Oh, I just don't know what I would do with that for a story. Maybe a mohawk? Mmm, mohawk. It doesn't really go with the color on the side of her head. Uh, I think this hat's probably the best choice. But, oh no. <gasps> this is the Fred and George beanie from the uh, from the Harry Potter minifigures. This could be like Ginny's hair. I could have George and Ginny as characters. Oh, I want to do this so badly. Oh my gosh. Okay, can I make this happen? I think I can. This is good. We're going to have George and Ginny and they're going to hang out in whatever build we have. So this can be my George head. We're going to put it on this prince's body. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. I don't know that the beanie goes with a prince top. Oh, I have a top with sand stripes across it. It's green, but it has sand stripes. I'm calling it. I'm calling it good. Okay, this is much better. Okay. So, George, we got George Weasley. <laughs> it's going to be like a Harry Potter fan fiction going on. And we're going to use Emma's outfit, the cute little overalls here. For Ginny and we need a head so we need some freckles and some brown eyes for Ginny. Oh lovely and if I put this hat and this hair on the explorer hat looks kind of yeah. How do I make the explorer's hat work with a beanie? What is their story gonna be? No I'm giving up on the hat you know I'm just calling it. We're just gonna put Ginny hair on her and call her outfit enough for the tan. <laughs> okay, let's see. I've got my characters. I'm very excited about them. We've got Harry Potter stuff going on. Now, also in tan are a whole load of masks. We've already seen these ones. This one, we've got a... Do we, oh, they've got a llama. I can use this pharaoh's 
thingamajig because it's tan on the basis. This has got tan on the face and oh, maybe <laughs> do we use the pug dog? I don't know. So we got all these masks in tan. How can I incorporate them? Don't know. Gonna push them out of the way for now. There are also a whole world of maps. Who would have imagined that there were so many maps printed on tan tiles? Actually, it makes sense because it like makes an old, it's like, it looks like old paper uh, or old papyrus or just old paper, like I said before. Lots of elves maps here. Ah, the Marauders map. This is why it's got to have a Harry Potter theme. This is perfect. What's this map from? I can't remember. Ah, I don't remember. Let's pile our maps high. Got a wonderful collection of maps. Maybe we'll make a map shop. There's also newspapers printed on tan. We've got the Harry Potter one. We've got this one, which I don't know where that one came from. We got a zombie brains one. Oh, they're so eclectic, but we can make them work together in a single build. And also there are Harry Potter spell, what do you call them? Spell sheet things. I was gonna say books, but they're not really books. Spell sheets all printed on tan tiles. And this very important one too. So we've got a whole heap of Harry Potter thingies. Oh my gosh, I also have an owl in tan. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. And I'm pretty sure, yes, they are. Where are they? The letters that actually get shoved through the mailbox. They're in tan. Hello. Okay, so can I have a broom? No, I can't because I only have a broom in brown. A brown broom. I might also have a black broom. Neither of them are good, but I do have a mop. <laughs> I have a mop, uh, but I'm going to rip the mop head off and I'll see if I've got, I don't have a long stick in tan. I do have some short sticks in tan. Can I make this into a broom with my tan pieces? I really want a broom for, for a broom for my build. Otherwise it's going to be tricky to make it a Harry Potter build without having a broom. It would just be so perfect. So if I put this through here, do you know there are no tan studs with holes in them? It's going to make it really hard to hold stuff together. If I use this pin, this technique pin, I should be able to put another stick on this end. I should. I should be able to click this in so that it just catches on both ends. So let's push that down further. Oh, pull it out a little bit further. Push this back in. Oh, I'll just keep fiddling with it till, oh, there we go. That's nice. Ah, that's a really nice looking broom. Nobody would know that that was a mop initially, unless you just saw me rip it apart. Right, okay. We have got the ingredients for a really good Harry Potter fan fiction crazy build. It's gonna be like a fever dream. Uh, uh, let's see, we're gonna make a curiosities shop and <laughs> these are going to be, oh, I have to make up stories to go with these, it's gonna be fan fiction. These are going to be displayed in the, the, <laughs> the shop uh, uh, as, as things you can buy and maybe they're headpieces that you put on if you want to have certain attributes. Uh, so that one's obviously for Viking for strength. An elf one, I mean, you can look pretty silly walking around with these, but silly doesn't matter if you have enormous powers. Plus also, it's always fun to walk around looking a bit different. So we've got uh, elf, we've got our Viking, we can definitely have this. This could even be something that the Potters, no, the Weasleys brought back from their trip to Egypt. So perfect, it ties in with their story so well. What else can we fit in? The llama? I've no idea how to fit this in. What on earth would you use a llama mask for? What special magical powers does the llama have? Uh, yeah, you can tell me because I don't know. Over here, I'm going to display these at the back in their own little display area. So if I put these ones just a little bit further forward to frame the Viking and... Yeah, we might put the pharaohs one up a bit higher and I want to put an arch over here, like an arched window, but a low one. So let's start building some bricks up. Let's make some walliness happen and along the back and then our arch can go, yeah, like a little window, I think. I think that's not pushing them too far forward over the Viking helmet. Ha, that's so lovely. And then up here is where I'm going to put the pharaohs. I was going to say helmet. I don't even know what you call that. What is it? What is it? It's a pharaoh's thing. And I'm going to make a nice little shelf for it with our quarter pie pieces to round off the edge. And maybe I could use these little tail pieces, tan tail pieces, on either side to create a bit of a feature, an architectural feature <laughs> for, for the pharaoh's mask for this whole little area. Oh, oh that looks okay. I'm not finished yet though. I want to put this mask 
and this mask and maybe this no not the pug mask I can't make that happen let's put these two guys on either side with these elephant tusks tails tails no tusks no they're not tusks elephant what do you call those things <laughs> I've lost it elephant trunks that's the word I was looking for so I can put these up here if I just have a couple more of these little tubes I can stick that in up here and that way I can angle them and they can be a really good display Oh, that looks amazing. Okay, and we can put the matching matching big cat on the other side. Let's build up our column, stick him on his trunk. We need the stud, otherwise it doesn't sit on top, on, like on the front of the trunk there, on the top of the trunk. Otherwise it doesn't sit on at the, it doesn't, it, it, it just won't go on properly. So we need that extra stud. That looks good. Look at that. That is, that is a, an eye-catching feature. It's a shame now, I think, that I put it at the back of the shop, but I think we're going to be cramming a lot of stuff into this crazy curiosities shop. All right. Yeah. Okay. That works. That works. Let's go and work on this wall now, cause this would be a good place to display George's amazing map collection. Except I think there's the elf needs to move forward just a little bit. Let's put in one stud for the further forward so he doesn't yeah get pushed forward. So okay, not maps yet. Let's put the newspapers, which are so <laughs> very eclectic. For maybe he, they've come from parallel universes to the Harry Potter one. Uh, where all sorts of random strange things exist. Not that there aren't enough random strange things that exist in the Harry Potter universe, but zombies do not actually exist there. So <gasps> maybe it's a fake news publication by the Murdoch media trying to freak everybody out. Did it work? Often does. Okay, so lots of interesting things happening down there in our newspapers. Up here on the wall, it's good. <gasps> maybe I could put my, I could put the uh, the broom, the, the broom that we built before up here on the wall. This is a very special broom. There's only one of them been made before. <laughs> it's a very special part of George and Ginny's collection here. I don't know if they'd be able to sell it. Probably got a massive price on it. So, okay, the maps are going to go up here on the wall. So I'm definitely creating some sort of alternate timeline here in my head. I've got an entire narrative going down. <laughs> I'm not sure where the timeline splits from my version and the real Harry Potter version, but this is my fan fiction. <laughs> I'm gonna just continue rolling on and making it up as I go along. Right, so maps on the wall. I need to put these up just another plate higher, otherwise they're going to bump into the maps down below. Yeah, put them over there, got the bar. Yeah, there we go, that looks lovely. All right, and are we gonna, I wanna put a lot of maps on. Let's just keep going. Let's make as many maps happen as possible. Right, uh, on the floor in front of here is where I'm going to make the counter. So we're going to have a shelf behind it with some pretty important precious stuff. So these are those, those letters that got put through Harry Potter's mailbox. This is a dragon's egg. I think it's petrified, so it's okay. Uh, hook to hang something on off the side. Decide what I'm gonna... I don't even know if I have anything that I can hang off it. I'll find something. I'm sure there must be something in tan that I can hang off that hook. Ah, uh, more maps. Let's put this one here, but the most precious one of them all, the Marauder's Map, has to go here behind, yeah, behind the counter. Keep it safe. Yeah, <laughs> and straight. Let's see if I can get this straight. Yeah, good. Okay, I got more maps. I want to put them all up here, baby. Let's do it. Let's make this even higher and put on some of these forward-facing stud thingies, and just let's put them all on the wall. Let's make let's make this a map wall that people will talk about for centuries. Now I've run out of map wall space. Uh, so I want to put this one. That was really short-lived. I want to put this one down here on the floor, and this grill will help sit it like out a little bit but it's leaning on my map above so I'm gonna move that up a bit yeah there that looks good and then if I can put no it needs to go in the outside groove come on there we go there we go maps ahoy they're all here all right okay that is a lot of maps now let's build our counter oh so these little edge pieces here these edge panel pieces make a very nice counter uh, I'm gonna need the long plate to hold them all together. Fill these spaces here with little single plates. And then these, these cool little two by one bricks with the, I don't know what you call them, with the divots in them. They make a nice texture. Makes it kind of look like they're, they're, the, they're the tube pieces, but they join together. Okay, how far forward do I want to put this? 
That looks like there's a lot of space there. But let's check with George in behind. Yeah, that's good. I want to just make a nice little smooth bit in front of the counter because I can. And I just think it looks nice and finished like that. Okay. All right. I got a big piece of wall I want to put up the back here and I have something I really want to use. I want to use this crack in the wall with the red goobies trying to like break out of it from an, yeah, hello, an alternate universe into this one. So we are going to create a wall with cracks in it and see if I can feature our red goobies. That's what I'm calling them, the red goobies. Doesn't sound really menacing enough, does it? <laughs> the red goobies. Uh, let's see. If I put this, yeah, there's a nice big hole at the back there. So I can put them, I need to suspend them out the back. So to do that, I'm going to use a claw and one of these paddle poppy kind of pieces. Stick that in the claw and this is now the back. So let's spin that around. Look at that. Oh, they're definitely breaking through. It's like that, uh, the Doctor Who, the crack in the wall. But with red goobies, which is definitely less menacing. Let's take this up just a little bit further. Nice! And I want to just take it all up to the same height. Yeah. All right. So this I want to put here, but I want to kind of, kind of want to nudge it in just a little bit further. I wonder if I can, I'm just going to sit it on top of there. That's good because I can, that means my little feature red goobies are sitting a bit higher. So I'll put my four by one here. Nice! Ah! Okay, all right, and now I just want to get the whole lot of this wall here to be a similar height, tie it all in, take this little feature piece up just by a plate, that looks so much better. Isn't it amazing how you just move something just a tiny bit and it looks so much better? Okay, this is looking good, but oh man, I want some more building space. Let's put another plate on here because I have got so many more ideas. Let's join this on. Come on, can you join? That'd be nice. And look at this we have oh my gosh we've just stopped what on earth is going on here are we seriously just stopping halfway through this build what sort of monster would do such a thing hmm. okay i'll see you with the rest of this build in the next video bye i'm running away don't shout at me